Okay, so we're going to continue with completing the square. Uh, we're going to do some more examples. I'm going to just do uh, one of each of the three essential types of completing the square. So, again, the first thing we're going to look for is we want to turn this into what's called a perfect square trinomial. So we need to figure out what this C actually needs to be. And remember, it's going to be half of B. So half of 6 is 3. Squared is 9. So I need to turn that 4 into a 9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So that turns into x squared plus 6x, and then I add the 5 to turn that into a 9. I add the 5 to the other side to turn that into 49. Then I'm going to factor this. And remember, it's just the variable and then half of that b squared. And we can go through our factoring skills and prove that, but I'm going to be a little lazy right now and just try to get through this video. All right, so we got x plus 3 squared equals 49. Now we're going to square root both sides, all right? And on the left here, the square and the square root are going to cancel out. And we're just left with x plus 3. And then on the right, we're going to have the square root of 49. 49 is a perfect square, and that's going to give us plus or minus 7. Now... We're gonna, we need to get that x by itself, so we're gonna subtract 3 from both sides. But remember, we have to subtract 3 not just from 7, but also from the negative 7. So when we subtract 3 over here from both sides, we get the first answer of x equals 4. And when we subtract 3 over here from negative 7, we get the second answer of negative 10. And those are our two answers. Okay? Our second example is where we don't have a perfect square. So I have x squared minus 8x plus 4 equals 0. So again, I need to turn this into a perfect square trinomial. So I take half of b, which is negative 4, squared, which is positive 16. So I need to turn that 4 into positive 16. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides, right? Because 4 plus 12 is 16. So when I add 12 to both sides, I get x squared minus 8x plus 16 on the left, and then 12 on the right. Next step, I factor it. Again, it's going to be half the variable, then half of that middle term squared. So I have x minus 4 quantity squared equals 12. I square root both sides. I'm left with just x minus 4 because the square and the square root cancel out. And then I have plus or minus the square root of 12. This is not a perfect square, 12 here. So, but I can break that down. When you break down root 12, it becomes 2 root 3. So I'm left with x minus 4 equals... plus or minus oops, two root three. And then again, I need to get that variable by itself. So I'm gonna add four to both sides. And I cannot combine the four with that two here because that two is attached to the radical. All right, and so it's kind of like like terms. I cannot combine them. So I'm just left with 4 plus or minus 2 root 3 
and that's my two answers. If you wanted to write it separately, you could say 4 plus 2 root 3 and 4 minus 2 root 3, and that would give you your solutions. The last one I'm going to do, number 3, is x squared plus 10x plus 3 equals 7. So again, I need to turn this into a perfect square trinomial. Half of 10 is 5, squared is 25. So I need to turn that 3 into a 25. And I'm going to do that by adding 22 to both sides. So when I add 22 to both sides, I get x squared plus 10x plus 25 on the left, and I get 29 on the right. I'm going to factor. Again, it's the variable. And then half of this b term, so that's x plus 5, and then that's quantity squared equals 29. I square root both sides. Again, the square and the square root cancel out. And then I get x plus 5 equals plus or minus the square root of 29. Now, 29 is not a perfect square. And not only is 29 not a perfect square, but it's a um, prime number. So I cannot break that down at all. So all I need to do here is get that x by itself. And I'm going to do that by subtracting 5. So what we're going to end up with is just negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 29. And those are our two answers. All right. So while our process is the same for all of these three problems, the last step or two looks slightly different. But really, we did not really change anything. All right. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week if you have any questions just ask make sure your name and the date is on everything you turn in